Well, we'll start off on, on the mound, Jacob. Uh, you and you and Tommy both did a, an excellent job out there uh, throwing a shutout. Uh, you specifically, um, four innings, uh, one hit. You know what, what what was good for you out there? For me out there, it was really just getting ahead of my fastball. I mean, they weren't really catching up to it, so I just kept pounding fastball, and they were getting behind in counts. I was ahead in counts, and I was just giving them the breaker, and it was working out well for me. No, uh, I guess it was the fir your first outing with us this, this summer. You you were behind in, in counts a lot yeah, early I, on. I what, think, what have you done to fix it? Um, confidence. It's on all the two years. I got all the talent in the world. Just the confidence. I, I was like, I went out there, and I knew I was going to do my thing today. Like, I got that killer mentality. Yeah, and Ryan, you you guys as an offense, y'all y'all been really good all, all tournament long. Struggled a little bit today, uh, weren't weren't able to put up any runs. What what were their guys kind of doing doing uh, to to keep y'all quiet? For sure, um, their arm he didn't throw too hard, but uh, he was the first arm I'd say that we saw all week. He was throwing three pitches for a strike and could locate them all three of them, and uh, that was tough. He was uh, mixing eye levels, and I thought he kept us off balance all game. He did a good job of it. Yeah. Um, how, how hard is it to adjust to, to guys like that when, when they're able to throw three pitches for strikes? For sure. It definitely keeps you uh, second-guessing yourself. Um, that's the biggest problem. If you could stop second-guessing yourself, then uh, you'll be fine. But I think the, he was throwing backdoor breakers to righties, and then he was throwing back, uh, back foot sliders to uh, lefties. But he was good. He was a good job. Um, I, I think it just wasn't our day. Yeah, and Jacob, you've seen your guys put up 43 runs over the first three games. How how much confidence as a pitching staff do you have in these guys, even even though it was a tough day for them today? Um, I usually have a lot of confidence. I mean, I we know the bats are going to do their thing. Today was unfortunate, but I also love the defense. Like, I know I can pitch a contact, and my defense has me behind me. All right. Yeah, and um, what what do y'all do uh, for for tomorrow? Is it is this a day you just kind of kind of flush and, and get rid of, or how, how do you approach it from an offensive standpoint? For sure, I think we flush it. Um, I thought our approach was pretty much the same the past couple of days, and uh, today it just didn't work out for us. But I think if we keep going with that, I think we're in a great position. All right, Ryan, you're you're a Georgia Tech guy. Uh, what what uh, made Georgia Tech the right right spot for you? For sure, um, I loved all three of the coaches. Um, Coach Ramsey, first off, is a hitting guy. I connected to him on a great level. He's a younger uh, younger guy. Uh, their head coach, Coach Hall, is the most winningest coach in the NCAA history. So uh, that speaks for itself. And then the pitching coach, Coach Burrell. Um, I love all three of them. Love the facilities, the area. So it was a win-win for me. In, in Gainesville, Florida, for you, uh, what what made what made the University of Florida the right, right spot? Um, for the past, I would say, five or six years, it's always been my dream school. I love the coaching staff, Coach Sullivan. He's a uh, he's a lot like my high school coach, Coach Drawman, recruiting guy. I absolutely love him. I can I can call him whenever I want and just just talk. It doesn't have to be baseball. It could be anything. I can just talk to him. And we have a new pitching coach there as well, Coach Coppice. I really like him. An atmosphere as well.